Hey guys, it's December 23rd. Uh, I'm at my mom's house for Christmas, and today we're talking about Matthew chapter 2. And I'll start by reading verses 1 and 2. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. So let's talk about the wise men. First of all, who were they? And secondly, how did they know to come and see Jesus? The wise men were astronomers, astrologers, men interested in dreams and predictions of the future, who were most likely part of the Jewish population that had been exiled to the east, to Babylon, many centuries before in 586 BC. And like I mentioned yesterday, they were probably a group of more than three who had come to see the new ruler from Judea. And how exactly did they know when and where to go to see Jesus? Firstly, since at least some of the wise men had Jewish ancestry, there would have been the idea among them that a Messiah was coming to be the consolation of Israel. And the star, which they called his star, would have seemed like a clear sign to mark the coming of the Messiah because of verses like Numbers 24:17, which says, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It shall crush the forehead of Moab and break down all the sons of Sheth. Apparently, this is all they needed to drop everything and investigate. And after all their travel, it's kind of surprising that they end up in Jerusalem and need help from the chief priests and scribes to point them toward Bethlehem, which is where the Messiah would be born according to Micah 5. But despite missing the mark in finding Jesus, when they did finally track him down, they respond exactly how they should by falling down and worshiping him. Tomorrow we'll continue in Matthew chapter 2 with a discussion of Herod's jealousy. Hope to see you then.